Hi and welcome to this fifth video tutorial of face swapping. This is the core part of this long series where we are finally going to see the face swapped. So in the last video we warped the triangles to make look the triangle from the first image as the triangle from the uh, second image and now we're going to reconstruct to put all the triangles together from the first face and put them in the second face. So let's see quickly an explanation of how we will do that visually. This is where, where we are in the last moment. So we have the triangle from the first phase, which is this one. Uh, sorry, this one from the first phase, exactly this one. The same triangle from the first phase, we changed the perspective and made it to look as the one in the second phase. This one is in the second phase. So if I move this one right into the second phase, we can see that it was extracted from, from this part. And our goal now is to put the warp triangle from the first phase in the second phase. And we will put all the triangles and we can finally link together all the triangles and swap the faces. Let's see how that is going to look. So let's go down where we warp the triangles. I'm going to put this code all together. And now our goal is to reconstruct the second face. So let's say reconstruct destination face. It means that we take all the triangles from the first image and we will put them with the sizes of the triangle in the second image with the same uh, position. So let's take a black image as the same size of the second image. I'm going up at the beginning. So where we have the second image, let's, uh, after the second image, let's create here EMG to new face is going to be as NP zeros like the EMG two. So here we created a black image with the same size and channels of the second image. And here when we construct the second image, we are going to put all the new triangles into that image. So we can do it this way, EMG to new face. And we will do that one by one. So we will take the first triangle as this is a loop. We work with one triangle at a time. We know that the deposition of the crop triangle two is this one. So I just copy this code where we take the crop triangle two where we have the position and inside this position, we will put the new triangle, warped triangle. Let's now show EMG to new face. And I'm going to not show anymore the triangles. CV2.im show EMG to new face and then EMG to new face. And I'm going to run the script right now. And here we see some really bad reconstruction. Uh, uh, the reconstruction is current, but it's correct, but there are many parts missing. Can you guess why? Okay, if we go that one by one, we know that we have the triangle into a rectangle area where we have the triangle and then there is black area on the image. So I could even show the triangles. So let, let me show you the triangle. So it will be even more clear. CV2.im show warped triangle, warped triangle. And this is the last triangle. As you see, each time there is the triangle, but then there is the black part. When we put the new triangle, we'll cover 
the previous one with the black part. So we need to solve this problem. What is the solution? The solution is easy. Each time we add a new triangle, before adding the next one, we're going to copy the previous part. So it will be this way. Okay, first we extract this area. So um, let's call it just triangle area is equals to and we will take this one from the image and let's show this one cv2.im show triangle area and then triangle area and cv2.weight key you don't need to do this one i'm just doing this to show you what what's the work we are doing and i will run this script okay this is the triangle area and at the beginning there now of course it's black as we don't have anything we go we continue and then we have the first triangle So each time we take the area where there are already triangles and then we add what's missing in, in those triangles without putting them together, without overlapping them with the new image. So we take the triangle area and instead overlapping the new image as we did before, instead to this area we add the new triangle. So we can do it this way, triangle area is equals to the, the triangle area, uh, sorry, let's do it, wait, cv2, cv2.add and we add the triangle area with warped triangle. And so in this area we contain the previous triangles with the new triangle. So if we show it right now, cv2.im show uh, just this way, triangle area and cv2.weight key zero. This is the triangle area with the new triangle added. Then we go next and here we can see this line is separating two triangles. So there was some triangle, the previous before and the second one. And you see that we are not deleting the previous ones and slowly we add them and this is done step by step one triangle at a time so let's now once we have this area overlap now we can overlap as we mix them together before uh, here instead of putting warp triangle i just put triangle area and at this point we can show emg to new face and everything should be fine and here we have a really nice result you can see that the face of the actor is warped to look as the second phase. So if we compare this phase with his original phase, you can see the changes. So let's now remove the lines. So these red lines that we don't need anymore, let's remove them. We can cancel this or just comment them. I will just comment, so control backslash, uh, control backslash to comment the lines in PyCharm, so if you have a different editor, it might not work. Most likely it won't work. Ctrl backslash. And let's run it again. Well, even if we don't have the lines here on the triangle, we are taking the triangle 
calls except the lines. We see these lines as when we took the mask of the triangles where we created the mask filling the triangle but not taking into consideration the contours of the triangle. Any idea how to solve this problem? I will leave to you this challenge so if you find a solution leave some comment below the video. And Let's now instead focus on putting the face into uh, so the, the first face into the second face for one of the final steps of face swapping. Let's go after the end of the loop. Uh, let's call this one face swapped uh, putting first face into second face. So now we need to create a mask. We need to create a mask to extract from this image all the head except the face. So we want the part inside the face to be black so that later on we can we can add these two images together and put this one. So let's first create a, create the mask. So let's create a threshold using just this image. We can say that everything that is black is not the face. So let's call it background is equals to Okay, to create, to create the mask from this, we need uh, first the black and white image, so emg2 new face gray, cv2.cvt color, emg2 new face, and we want to convert this cv2.color underscore bgr to gray. With this, we can make a threshold, cv2.threshold, we take emg new face gray and let's say a value 25 2055 and then cv2.thresh binary let's now show the background cv2.im show background background uh, uh, uh. okay uh, my mistake we are taking threshold returns always two values. We don't need the first one, we only need the result of the threshold. The first one is just true, uh, true and false, if we have it or not. We don't need that, we just need the background. So let's run this again. And this is the result. We took, well, I say threshold of 25. We were, we were working with the grayscale image. So everything that is, uh, every pixel that has a value above 25, we're making it white, otherwise black. There is no point to make value of 25 as we need all the the face cover, uh, let's say instead of 25, let's say every value above one, let's make it white. So we will take only the black part. There is no point to make value of 25 as we need all the, the face cover. Uh, let's say instead of 25, let's say every value above one, let's make it white. So we will take only the black part. And that's exactly what we need, a different threshold. Now let's put this mask on this face.
except that we want the opposite. As the white part is the part that we allow, so we want to allow to extract from this face only the part surrounding the face. So white part is the part we allow, black part is the part we cover. So we want to cover this one, so let's convert this mask. So we can say instead of thresh binary, we will say thresh binary inverse. And now, exactly what we need, the new face, the background, and we put them together for the final result. Result is equal to cv2.add. We are simply adding this to images, emg2. Uh, no, sorry, we're just adding background and EMG to new face. We don't need to show all the rest. We just need to show the result. See to that im show result and result. And finally, we can say that our sub swapping has been done correctly. First phase, second phase, final result. We will see in the next video some improvement. What is missing? Well, we can see these triangles that uh, these lines that needs to be solved and I leave to you the challenge but we will see in the next video how to make it look similar to the first phase now it more than swapping it looks like a collage we want the color to be similar and we have in OpenCV some built-in function that will allow us to do this so Remember to stay updated if you want to see the following of face swapping. And today I received this. This will be part of my new video course that I will be releasing soon about Raspberry Pi. And I'm receiving quite often new objects that I will going that I'm going to use for the new series. This is a servo servo motor that we're going to make work with the Raspberry Pi. I have eight of them and I will let you know why we need this. See you in the next video.